Welcome back to another video. And today, guys, we'll be reviewing the Lampadati Cinquemila. Now, this vehicle is based off both a Maserati what you in today? Ghibli and a new Mercedes Benz S580. Now, I see a mixture of these two cars in one here, especially on the front end with the Maserati and then the rear end with the Mercedes. Definitely a cool mixture. Now, hopping into the vehicle customization, we can see that this vehicle is no, by no means short of, custom, of customization options, as it should be, as because the car costs $1.7 million, not even as the trade price or anything. It's just, if you want it, you have to pay that. So, this vehicle should be interesting to see how it drives for that price. I am gonna go for a more subtle look. So it's gonna look more of a stock vehicle in a sense, because I don't believe that this car should be like loud and like loud and outgoing because it's not really sporty. It's just fast and luxury based, if you get what I'm saying. So not necessarily gonna go for the extreme approach here, especially when I, especially when I got a new one which because i usually sell these vehicles after i made the content off the vehicle like when they come out on the prize ride and the podium wheel i usually sell the vehicle recoup some of the money that i invested at first I'd love to know how was the update for you guys as I'd love to see in the comment section. I'm very active also. So just comment down below if you like the update. If you don't like the update, tell me what. Tell me why. You know, I'll definitely be in the comments reading it. Maybe I'll respond. Sometimes I heart the comment to show that I read Reddit. That's so right please do that if you're interested. Now I'm still scrolling through the options. There's still a lot of options, right? But the lowered suspension on this thing is not really that low. I mean, coming from the Tuners DLC, I guess I'm kind of spoiled. But the perfect rims is, is in this class. Uh, perfect. They fit them like they were OEM. They're quite a good, quite of a, not a, a lot of other choices I could have made, but eh. It was what it is. Now, moving on to the driving portion of the video. I'm now going to take the car around the city, see what it can do. Now, I've definitely driven the car. As you can see, the transition from day to night, from night to day, right? Uh, I definitely drove the, car, drove the car around, got a feel for it. So, um, it's pretty consistent with the double clutching which is very helpful in races and it seems to have a stable a stable um boost application so now what i mean by that is when i when i hit the double clutch some cars you have to counter steer when you double clutch this is not so it kind of just hooks and goes so that's a that's a major pro and the vehicle has a lot of acceleration especially from lower speeds but it, i think it thins out when you're uh hitting like 120 130 there it seems like it's floating at that point and it definitely corners well i'm telling you this 
Let's do it with the Alex Acceleration, as I was saying before. And the cornering ability of this vehicle, you could definitely um, set a few records or win a few races with this vehicle. Would I buy it now? No. Unfortunately not. I just, I just don't see the necessity for this vehicle as yet. But for $1.7 million, I'm going to buy a four-door uh, four sedan. I don't know. It seems like Rockstar keeps on raising the prices of these vehicles for some reason. I mean, it's a nice vehicle. But $1.7 million, especially as a person that if they didn't play the game a lot, coming from the OG days, when you could get like a supercar for $1 million, now you're getting a four-door for one for one. Four million seven hundred. So times is changing, unfortunately. So uh, yeah, it's a definitely a nice car. Hold on. Yeah, definitely a nice car. Look at the in look at the engine overlay. They did they spent some time on that, of course, but due to the damage, that little scuff is on there. See, it's nice. It's luxurious. Definitely not. Definitely a podium vehicle or a prize ride vehicle. And that Rockstar needs to start implementing these soon enough on the prize ride so more people could get engaged. Because a lot of people I see around in my lobbies with the new vehicles. That's basically it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Comment down below. As I said, tell me how the update is for you. Definitely in the comment section.